independent presidential candidate John Alan Kujuchamanti has assured traders of Kumasi of completing the Crawford market. The facility, which is expected to boost trading activities and reduce congestion within the central business district, has been left abandoned since 2008. Residents have embarked on a series of protests to compel city authorities complete and operationalize the multi-million dollar commercial edifice, but it remains a den for criminals. During his campaign tour, the leader of the Movement for Change accused both the NDC and the NPP for not attempting to operationalize the market. Let's touch base with Ibrahim Abubakar, who's been following him all throughout his campaign in the Ashanti region. And yesterday, you remember, Ibrahim walked us through how the Ashanti region had become a hotbed for political activity over the last week. Ibrahim, Talk to us. Do we know why this market project has been left uncompleted for more than a decade now? Well, Mauna, uh, basically it's about financial constraint. Now, this is a project that was started by the Kofu administration in 2007, and it was supposed to last for eight months for its completion, uh, which means that by 2008, ending of 2008, it would have been ready and operationalized. Now, the government couldn't finish it, and after 2008, it was left as it is. Now, along the line, even the Mensha Palace had to come in, facilitate a loan of 81 million um, Ghana cities for its completion. That also did not materialize. KMA also decided that they will go into a PPP agreement, private partnership agreement with some private um, companies so that um, they will complete it and make it operationalized. That also did not happen. And it has been back and forth, and all the governments have just left it. This was a project that started before the KJTR market. The KJTR market is complete, before the Asawasi, before the TAPO, and other satellite markets. Yet those ones have been completed, and this big project has been left um, at the mercy of the weather. Currently, you go there, you realize that some of the blocks have started um, falling apart, the roofing and other things. Mm. And this is a project that would have even eased the burden of um, the central business district. You currently go there, and the congestion there is um, very, very devastating because traders have taken shoulders of the road and also middle part of the road. Right. Now this has been left there, and they have spoke about it over and over. Nothing has been done. Just a few days back, uh, the flag bearer of the new patriotic party, who happens to be the vice president of Ghana, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, went there and also gave them that assurance that mm. should he be given the mandate to become the president, he will complete it. Alan Kodo Chamantin has also gone there, and he has told them that, look, the MPP has come, they couldn't, uh, the NDC has come, they couldn't complete it. The MPP too has come, they couldn't. So he is the best person to... Uh, complete it and even make it add some amenities such as um, hospitals and right. other facilities to it. So they should give him the chance to come and complete. Alan Kodotra Mantin has been speaking to the media after engaging the residents at Kofu. I feel very saddened that this project has been hanging for 17 years. over 17 years. It is an indictment on both the NDC and then the MPP. Look, this market was meant not only to serve people in uh, Kofu, but everybody who understands the architecture of uh, Ashanti will tell you that whether you are in Kofu, Abuabo, Ashanti, Aswasi, all around here, this is going to be their central market. And these community markets are the only way you can decongest the central market. If we fix this market, do you need to go to the central market no, no, no. downtown? You don't need to do so. So this will be one of my first projects. I, I'll make sure that you find that there will be a hospital, uh, there will be a kindergarten or nursery school, police station, obviously. This is going to be a showpiece. This is going to be a showpiece. So I wish that the next time I come here on a working visit, I'll be doing so in my capacity as the president of the Republic of Africa.
Atalam Kojo, chairman and leader of the Movement for Change. Earlier, my colleague Ibrahim Abubakar with uh, a lot more details. Now to the Volta region, where a group of lecturers from various tertiary institutions there have begun a street campaign across the region to whip up support for the NDC presidential candidate, John Dramani Mahama. The lecturers are urging voters in the region to vote massively for the NDC in the upcoming polls on December 7th. The group comprising some lecturers from Ho Technical University, University of Health and Allied Sciences, and Amajapa College of Education have stormed central markets urging traders to vote for change. According to some members of the group, the NDC flag bearer John Mahama is a man to trust. Let's get more. Volta Regional Correspondent Faisal Abdulidrusu is joining us via Zoom. Uh, Faisal, good afternoon to you. What else can you report about the story? Well, so these are lecturers that come from the various universities you just mentioned. Yesterday, uh, they started their campaign activities from the whole central market, where they told us that the current state of the country's economy and also the issues within the educational sector motivated them to actually join the campaign for John Jamani Mahama. Uh, a few of them, I noticed yesterday, have all along been NDC people, but there are a few others that I noticed yesterday haven't uh, been on the campaign trail in the past. So, they are new persons and both, but their motivation, which they made yesterday, is basically the state of the country's economy and also the issues within the education sector, which they trust that the only government and the president to actually bring things to order and restore the country. And John Tomani Mahama and the NDC have been speaking to them, and let's have a listen to what they say. As people in academia, we have seen that there is a flop in our educational system. And so to correct it, we need to come together and let people be aware that we at the tertiary level are receiving the goods that are being brought from SHS. And we want to end it. We are not going to cancel free SHS. So do not be afraid as a parent to vote for us. All we need to do is that we want to restructure such so that our children can go to school and stay full term, three months and come home. Baumia has proven not to be trusted. Baumia is not a commodity that can be trusted. Baumia as a name is far from trust. The only one who is so competent enough to win our trust and merit our vote is John Dramani Bahama. And in the academia, we have seen this. We've read the manifesto of the NDC as intellectuals. We've analyzed it and we realized that subjecting the NDC manifesto through the academic lens has come out with none other thing than the word trust. When you enter the whole central market now, one tuba of yam is 50 cities. One tuba of yam is 50 cities. How do you survive as a lecturer? How much are you earning? How much do you buy in the market? So this is why we are saying that in these current times, we cannot continue to be in this kind of what? A uh, condition where lecturers, our salaries only go to the market. How about school fees? How about other economic activities? The exchange rate, the Ghana city against the dollar. Are you happy with it? No, we are not happy. The, 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 the city is just soaring like, uh, I mean, eagle in the sky against the some lecturers of tertiary institutions in the Volta region there. Earlier was Faisal Abdul Idrisu, our Volta region correspondent. We can now head to the Upper West region where a similar situation has taken place. Lecturers in some uh, you know, institutions of higher education there have also thrown their weights behind the NDC flag bearer, John Dramani Mahama. Let's again listen to them. The group of university professors known as progressive intellectuals, drawn from Simon Diedon Dumbu University of Business and Integrated Development Studies and the Dr. Hilaire Leman Technical University, all in WA, has expressed support for the NDC's plans to revamp Ghana's education sector and address the country's economic hardships. The lecturers, representing diverse academic disciplines, praised the NDC's initiatives and took to the street of the regional capital to advocate for votes while educating the populace on the voting process. Professor Elijah Yandao is the coordinator of Progressive Intellectuals. It's to say that enough is enough of the lame duck regime. You all know that the economy is in shambles. The economy is ailing. The economy is sick. It's dead. We are aware the promises the NPP made to Ghanaians. 
it is just unconscionable to think that a party that has served this nation for good eight years will think that Ghanaians are just so naive, they are fools to give them another mandate for another four years of economic stagnation. So what we are saying is that let's come together and kick this lame duck government out of what? Power. The head of planning department at UBIS, Professor Foster Agbenyo, stated that John Mahama was voted out based on lies and deceit, but is now returning to correct the mistakes. Let's talk about infrastructure development. Countrywide, we cannot dispute this one, that there was massive infrastructure development under Mahama, but the problem was just, this was just four years. Mahama needed another four years to complete those projects to help us to be able to what, move on to the, you know, the path. But they truncated you with their lies. Now, flag bearer of the NPP, Dr. Mohamed Dubawamia, has promised the people of Mingxia South of fixing the Kofrum market. Addressing party faithful at the Baumia Connect, Dr. Mohamed Dubawamia appealed to the people to hand over the development of the country to him. Wano se mini o man pinyi dada na ye kwa kansi ono wa be di o man pinyi pe mi di mi nyen di president pe ye vote man wa o beti mi di president e fi nine na oko mu vote man mi anya mi adu beti mi di president e fi watchi na me ti mi abaha abe ye juma amamu cho boy mu fastiano e mami mu fastiano e mami mu fastiano Hey, 